Hey beautiful, let's go to TJ Maxx. You guys like the previous shop with me, so we're back at it again. When I first walked in, I saw this beautiful micro course purse, $129. I really like the design. I keep telling myself if I see it during Mother's Day, I'm gonna get it. So I saw the Urban Decay All Nighter setting powder. I was so freaking excited, $7.99. I definitely picked one up in translucent. I was really like, oh my God, when I seen this. And the NARS, you guys. I seen this on TikTok, so this is why I took the trip and I found it, I scored. So excited, I only found one though. I also saw these. I was so tempted to get it, but I only liked one of the scents, but it was super cute, right? And then the Hello Kitty, everyone's going crazy over this mug. And this is my first time finding Truly, you guys. I was super excited. And you see how close Babe was? Yeah, so I put it back. <laughs> $16.99 though, and I don't know, y'all let me know, is it worth it? I seen this body lotion, I wanted to get it, but I think it's just Manya, because my mom loves Ed Hardy, so I was like, okay, I'm not gonna get it. We went over to Burlington, and I saw this cute Stephen Madden purse, you guys, oh my gosh, it's so freaking pretty. $29, it's gorgeous, and then this babe purse, oh my god, I wanted it so bad. Then we went back to TJ, saw this Care Bear mug. I saw the Stitch mug and another Stitch mug. If you guys do not know, I'm obsessed with Stitch. Ohana, I, I'm obsessed. I went back to another Burlington and I seen this white one and I was like, oh my God. Then I saw the nude babe and oh my gosh, there was just so much good stuff, you guys. Then we went to Marshall's and I saw this cheek palette everyone's going crazy about. For 30 bucks for the palette, I think it's a steal. I saw some Too Faced. I love the peach palette. It's one of my favorite palettes from Too Faced. And this one, the Natural Nudes, another favorite. I absolutely love it. I saw some Glam Light Kisses, Cookies and Cream. I didn't get this one. I'm on the hunt for the nude one. Saw some Morphe. Saw these lipsticks. And if they were brownies, I would have got them. And I saw some eyebrow pencils from Gwen Stefani's line. Some more Naked Urban Decay. This honey palette is absolutely top favorite. If you guys see it, pick it up. Saw the She-Hulk. I didn't pick this one up just because I didn't see that many good reviews on it. But it was here. $14.99. I think it's a really good price too. I should have got it. But I was like, am I going to use it? No. Then I seen the Michaela Glam Light Lip Set. And only $5.99. Glam Light Frosted Flakes palette. This is so freaking cute. The packaging is just adorable. $16.99. I think that's a really good steal. Some Pat McGrath highlighters. There's two shades. This one reminds me of Trophy Wife from Fenty. So I passed on that. And those were $19.99. It's a little expensive, but that's definitely high end. Then we have some Naked Wild West, $9.99. Super cute. Saw the ABH Norvina, ABH Norvina eyelashes, $5.99. I was going to get them, but I don't like this much of the style, so I passed on it. I saw the Jaclyn Hill Peach Blush Lover Boy. I was so tempted to get it. I opened it, and it was only $7.99. I opened it, and it was just too light. It wasn't going to look good on me. It was going to look more of an ashy tone, so I passed on it. Spotted the ABH Norvina palettes. Oh my god, you guys, I was so tempted to buy a backup because I am obsessed with the orange, but I passed on it. $19.99 though, a really good deal. Saw this Lorac palette, only $12.99. I loved how it looked. The packaging looked really good. I opened the palette and I was like, oh my gosh, it looks so dull. So I passed on it. If it looked like how it did in the packaging, I definitely would have picked it up. I spotted the glow kit from Anastasia. This took me back to like old school YouTube days where everyone was rocking this highlighter. So freaking pretty. I still have the palettes. I love them. And $19.99. I'm obsessed with Betsy Johnson earrings. I never get them, but I love looking at them. Spotted this Morphe palette, $19.99. The colors were absolutely beautiful. But to be honest, I feel like a lot of my Morphe palettes just sit there. So until I play with them, I'm not going to be purchasing any more Morphe palettes. But this one was absolutely beautiful. I spotted the Glam Light Barbie palette for $16.99. Uh, I'm just going to do a spoiler alert. I did not get it. I just, it's beautiful, but I passed on it. Spotted the Kisses palette again. I'm still on the hunt for the nude one. So if you guys see it, let your girl know. Keep finding the blue and the purple, but not the nude one. I want the nude one. So we went to Ross and I saw this foundation, the Joe foundation. It's so pigmented and it was only $5.99, you guys. Crazy. Then I saw this. This is the first time I see Be Bella at Ross. $7.99. I loved how it looked. I was like, oh my god, should I get it? Should I get it? Because the nude. I'm telling you, packaging, you guys, will sell you anything. 
saw these cute beauty sponges for $5.99. I wanted to pick them up, but I seriously got to declutter my sponges before I, I purchase any. This palette keeps calling my name, and I have to keep telling her no, but I probably will come back for her. Spotted some KVD, so I was so excited. Picked it up, $12.99. This, I wanted this so bad, but the hubby was with me. Again, he doesn't want me to live my best life. $24.99. Saw some Urban Decay brow pencils. And it's a really nice shade too. It's not like some crazy shades that like no one wears, right? And some Too Faced too. I was like, oh my God, hell yeah. Went to Burlington, you guys, because I wanted this Juicy Couture purse and I found it. I was so freaking excited. It's pink. It's beautiful. $12.99, $12.99, $12 no manches. $29.99. As soon as I saw it, when I walked in, oh my gosh, I was so excited. I went looking to see if they had any more, you know, because sometimes people like to hide stuff. Saw this really cute backpack. I didn't get it because I'm not going to wear it, but I am going to wear this. So I was like, okay, I'm going to take this. It's so cute. Saw some Steve Madden, cute purses. Went back to TJ. I saw this Barbie straightener, $59.99. Oh my God, it's so freaking cute. But I already have a straightener, so I was like, dude, stop. Went to Starbucks because I'm looking for that glass Starbucks cup. I did not find it. All these were really cute, but I'm seriously just holding out for that glass cup. This blue kept calling me. I held her for a little bit just so that I felt good. And then I was like, okay, I got to put you back because no, I can't do this. The bottom one was calling me too. So I just picked her up and babe was like, babe. And I was like, I'm putting it back. But I had to give me some Starbucks. Look how pretty. Look how freaking pretty. Every time I record, it's so funny when like I see people staring. So like I just have to record a little bit longer. But this was delicious. So good. So later down that week, I went to TJ again. And I saw some MAC foundation. I was so freaking excited and it was only $14.99. Heck yeah, that was a steal, right? And I saw some Kevin Aquan. I always see this palette, but I never get it because I feel like I'm not going to use it, you know? $14.99. This palette though, I might come back for her because I, I think about her. I dream about her, but I never get her. $4.99. Super cute palette. Saw the e.l.f. Cookies and Cream. Really cute. They have a lot of cookies and cream stuff out, I've noticed. And this one was $3.99. Saw some Dr. Seuss, thing one and thing two. These are so cute, but I, I passed on it. No, so much. <laughs> Did you hear her? I freaking love her. She mimics me so cute. Steve Madden, adorable. I love that color. And this is Babe showing me the purses that he likes. It's cute. It's cute. And that was $34.99. <laughs> Saw these cute clips. They're adorable. Am I gonna wear them? No, but they're cute. So cute. Yeah. I just love how shy she gets. <laughs> so let's go back home so I can show you guys what I got. So I'm so excited to be back and doing another one of these. You guys gave me such amazing feedback on my other one, so I'm so excited. And let's start hot. I'm wearing another Barbie shirt. I got this one on clearance as well as the other one. And just has a lot of beautiful Barbies. And they feel super duper soft for $6.39. So let's start in hot. I got this one, you guys. I was so freaking excited when I seen it. I first seen it on TikTok and I was like, you know what? Let's just go. So I told the babies like, hey, let's get ready. Let's just go. They were like, oh, I don't wanna go. And as soon as I walked in, I saw it. As soon as I walked in and I was like, yeah, that's mine. Mm -hmm. Look how beautiful it is, you guys. So freaking cute. I know they have a black version and like kind of like, um, it's like a, a peach version, but this is the one that I found. I've only been able to find one because I was like, I'm gonna find another one. I wanna find one for my sister-in-law, but all I found is this one and I'm obsessed. Like I am obsessed. It's so freaking cute. I don't know what it is about it, but it is adorable. And underneath this pink, so I gotta be very careful where I place her because I'm not trying to get her dirty. Another one that I found, but this was on Poshmark. So these went viral. There's so many different colors. I am constantly trying to hunt them down in whatever color I can get them. And I found this one in orange, $30. Yes, ma'am. Because people are going for like 60 to 90 to 120, but I found this one for 30. And I was thinking maybe because she didn't like the color because it's orange, but I will bust this out whenever. I will bust this out in the fall. Oh, bust this out for Jay's birthday. I got a little Halloween baby. Yeah, yeah. It's so freaking cute, you guys. And you guys already know I like Steve Madden. And oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Like, what about it is not the meh. You can't. 
cute, right? Mm-hmm. I know it. And then I got two more. <laughs> it's been bad, okay? Like, I'm gonna take a chill pill after this, promise. But I had to. I saw this one, and I went with my husband. We went, <laughs> we went in together, and then we went to Target. And I was like, babe, we're gonna, we're gonna have to circle back, and we're gonna have to go get it. And he started laughing, and he ran in, and he got it for me. I love it. Why does it look scented? Oh, because of this. Okay. I was about to say I don't love it no more. Just kidding. But look how freaking cute. It's like a purse you can wear every single day. I like it. It's kind of throwing me off that it's slanted right now, but it's it's very cute. So I like that you can just rock it just like that, or you can put on the straps and make it a cute little moment. Look at that little pursy. But yeah, I think this is so freaking cute, you guys. Look at that. Obsessed. And then I went to Ross and I seen it in white. I was tempted not to get it because I feel like white gets, gets dirty so quick, especially if you're a mama. But I was like, okay, no, I have to get it. I have to get it. So I picked it up in white and it is so freaking cute. You see this is how it's supposed to be? A C. But the other one's slanted, so I'm gonna have to fix that. But oh my god, it is beautiful. I love it, it's gorgeous, and I feel like it can go with anything. Okay, so these are gonna be finds from Marshalls, TJ, Burlington, and Ross. And I did not get this like all in one go, like it's been like a few days, a few weeks, and I wanted to see if you guys like that kind of content. So you guys said yes, so here I am. Okay, just so you guys know, like I'm not like out there cool, get lucky every time I go. No, 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 no. So I was looking for this, this is the KVD palette this is the moon of garden so many people are posting it and i was like oh my god i want to get lucky and i got lucky it took me a while though but this one went for 14.99 look how beautiful like it is absolutely gorgeous and i feel like every color in here i will use you know how sometimes you look at a palette and you're like i think i'll have to use like another palette with it with this i don't think i'm gonna have that problem just because i like how it has like the, the brown transition shades and it has like a pink. I feel like a pink can be beautiful as a transition if it's like a deep pinky. And then these colors you can just pop all over the lid or even under the lash line, it would look beautiful. And I feel like you can never go wrong with the black. So yeah, your girl was stoked. I was like, oh my God, okay, let's go, let's go. Erin really was laughing because I was like, okay, I came and I got what I wanted. Super freaking pretty. Like it's beautiful, like absolutely beautiful and i've always just loved like the palette and stuff like there's so much thought that goes into everything even though kat von d no longer is with them they are still living up to that putting paying attention to like detail and cosas así you know because it matters next thing i got was from kvd as well and this is the locket foundation and i picked up the shade medium 53 warm i'm hoping it's my shade make sure even the foundations you guys are opening it and looking at it making sure it's not used or anything like that because you don't know where people's hands have been please even if you're like oh my god it's the last one you'll be fine boo no don't do it but anyways this one has not been used and i'm super freaking excited to have it i think this is going to be my tone like look at it i just eyeballed it there's a few other shades but i think i think i think i did a good job and that was 12.99 i also picked up her locket setting powder for 4.99 i wasn't gonna get it because babe was like you already have so much stuff like i don't understand why you keep buying so much makeup and i'm like it's in a it's an addiction and like coming from my bloodline you're lucky that it's makeup <laughs> Just kidding. But no, I was like, okay, I don't want to get it. And I put it down. And then as we're checking out, babe, like, told her, like, oh, yeah, and this too. And this is translucent in the shade translucent. I remember having a little one and I liked it. So I wanted to get this one for $4.99. That's a steal. And it's chiquito. You can just put it in, like, your makeup bag. Yeah. Let me know if you guys would like to see a what's in my purse. Remember that back in the day when we would do that? Like, this is what I have in my purse. And I had a taser and so many people were like, what the f***? Ma, okay. is nobody talking? I'm talking to them. Is nobody what the hell? I know, but when they see it, they're going to talk back, okay? Why? Nobody there. Girl, don't put me on blast. Go over there. Nobody there. Oh my God, no one talking. 
So the next thing I picked up was from Marshalls. This was $3.99. Slant and Point Tweezers. The shade in pink, I am obsessed. I feel like as I'm getting older, I'm like being more like, oh my God, like girly side with my pink. I feel like as before, I wouldn't too much, but I got it in pink, so I cannot wait to play with that. Next, I was really like, oh my God, when I seen this, this is a NARS Sunkiss Bronzing Cream. Yeah, you heard that right. They still have that at Sephora. This was $12.99. I was like, you know what? Oh my gosh, when we walked into it, this was like a different location. Like, I didn't get all this stuff at one location, you guys, because it is so hard. Like you have to like go to other places. Anyways, I saw this and I was like, because I love using this one, okay? It's the same thing. I love using this one. This one is Laguna 2. I bust her out only, only, only like here and there just because she is busy. And this is Laguna 2. When I got Laguna 2, the other shades were sold out because like everyone was going crazy over it. So this is the, sh the shade that I have. And when I went to, was it TJ? It was $12.99 and then I picked up Laguna and I was so excited. And this is Laguna and it was not touched. It was like this outside of the box, okay? And I was like, oh, no, 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 no. And then I looked at it and I was like, oh my God, hell yeah. Like, look at that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, $12.99, so I'm like super excited. Like, mm. boom, chicka-bee-gee-bee-gee-bee-gee-bee-gee-bee-gee-bee. Oh, I was so excited. You definitely can find some good stuff. You just gotta like look, you know? Then I picked up the Urban Decay All Nighter. This is their setting powder. I got it for $7.99, translucent. I have not tried it out yet, so I'm really excited. I really am obsessed with Urban Decay. So I cannot wait to try out their powders. With everything you get, you guys, please open it and check it out because you just never know. And yeah, I'm just really excited to try it out. If you guys have tried this one out, let me know. I'm obsessed with setting powders. And once I like a certain one, I tend to just stay with that one. So let your girl know. And I picked up a foundation. This was from Marshalls, $14.99. And this is the shade NC35. But I think I can pull this one off. I think I can pull it off. I haven't played with a MAC foundation in the longest. So I can't wait to like do a throwback video and use that. If you guys follow my MAC story times, you guys have been with me for a minute. Now that was crazy. But yeah, when I seen it, I was like, I gotta get it. I gotta get it. So I got these two items for Christmas, but I wanted to show you guys since they are putting more of these out. And I got this for my son, Andrew, $24.99. And it is the Pat McGrath palette. Oh my God. So me and him went Christmas shopping. I picked up this palette and I told Andrew, oh my gosh, this, this color right here, I want this palette for this color right here. And he like literally went and took his dad and he was like, mom wants this one right here. So he picked this palette up for me. It is absolutely beautiful. I cannot wait to finally use it. You guys know I'm so weird when I get something, I have to wait to show it to you guys. So. I've had this since Christmas and I cannot wait to play with it. And I'm really excited because I want to create something with this beautiful color right there for March. I can't believe we're already in March, you guys. Crazy. And my son Eli picked this up for me. He took off this, the tag, so I don't know how much this one is, but maybe it's around the same price. And this is the blush palette. It is so beautiful and and the highlight looks absolutely gorgeous. So when I use this palette, I will use this one as well. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And they're putting more of these palettes out. So if you guys are interested in getting Pat McGrath, I would definitely check out your TJ Maxx to see what bundles they have. <laughs> I got another headband. I almost knocked myself out with it. This one was $3.99 at Marshalls. Mira que bonita. So freaking cute, you guys. Like, they have the cutest freaking headbands. You guys are so cute. You guys are Snapchatting me and sending me pictures on Instagram of you guys getting the Minnie Mouse one. I was like, I felt so freaking cool. I was like, oh my God. And a lot of you guys had Minnie Mouse. I was like, what? All I had was Minnie. All of a sudden now on here, they say, I'm a bow tie and a hair tie. Not the cream. But yeah, it has the thing in there. Oh yeah, it does. <laughs> Like the other ones don't have the thing, but this one actually has it where like it bends and stuff. Super cute. But yeah, look, at, isn't that cute? It's a mushroom. Look at that. I love that. And look, it's like so big. I like it when I have headbands that are like super cute, super huge, because I feel like it just it's just a moment. So I picked that one up. I am so excited because I seen that there's pink ones. Your girl's gonna go crazy and get a pink one. Next is Glamlight. They're great. 
And this one was $16.99. I have not opened it. But look how freaking cute this is. I don't even want to ruin the packaging just because that is so freaking cute. I feel like Lamb Light is super, super cute with the packaging. Packaging will sell so much because there's a lot of people who like to collect, like me, that will just buy it just for the packaging and not even play with it. Not even play with it. And there's a lot like me that do the same thing. Oh my gosh, I have to ruin the package. <gasps> It's like a bag of cereal. So this is the palette. The palette's so little <laughs> compared to the packaging. Look at that, the blues. I don't know what it is about the blues, but to get me this whole right here, this whole row right here is a look, is a look. The whole row right there. Oh my gosh, I thought I almost jammed my finger in it. It is such a pretty palette, $16.99. And we already know the formula is amazing with Glam Light. It feels like glitter and it literally is just absolutely beautiful. So I picked that one up. Again, this one was $16.99 comparable to $30. I always try to convince Rudy like that. And I'm like, well, originally he's like, babe, stop. And I'm like, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. I could have got it for that price, but I got it for this price. And he's just like, yeah, no. No. Next things are lipsticks. I am a sucker for liquid lipsticks. I just am. Yeah, I'm just a sucker. I don't know what else to say. Like I am. If we go and look at any of these places together, I am going straight to the lippies because I'm just like obsessed. Like why not? Oh, and I feel like where I use it on more than one area, that's how I justify it. So this is from Jaclyn, $6.99 and this is feisty. I was so glad that I picked up the shade because I am obsessed with the caca brown, I am obsessed. And again, make sure you guys open to make sure that it is clean. Cause it took me a minute to find feisty just because, oh, oh I have it here right there. It took me a minute to find feisty just because every time I opened the freaking tube, it was dirty. And that is just very sad. <laughs> but look how pretty that is. It's like, a chocolatey brown. Makes my mouth water because I think I show it. <laughs> Drop it. Next one is from KVD Everlasting Liquid Lipstick. And I picked this one up for $6.99. It's this beautiful color. And I would pair, again, make sure it's clean. I would pair this one with a pretty nude in the middle and it would be so beautiful. Look at that. Oh, it is gorgeous. It's so crazy when I remember these coming out, being displayed on Sephora and everyone just being like, oh my God, oh my God, did you get that one? No, it's sold out. And it's just so crazy that it's like, you guys know it's at DJ Ross and we're screaming and buying hella backups. Another one from KVD was a freaking classic favorite, $6.99 and this one is bow and arrow. Bless you, my baby. Thank you, thank you. Classic Bow and Arrow was such a fave. And I'm gonna put this one on right now. I'm gonna line my lips with ColourPop BFF3. At this point, they should just name that one after me. I'm constantly putting that one on. But, oh, this was such a pretty muted nude. Like, who was making colors like this? Navian. Kat Von D was that girl. Like, look how beautiful and pretty that looks. I love it, I love it, I love it. Next one is Anastasia 699, and this is Heathers. Heathers. Oof, I remember only a few, only a few love this color. Look at that, look at that, look at that. That is like such a pretty deep red. And I don't know why not everybody in the mama wanted it. I remember me wanting to get it, but I was like, oh, I don't think I should. I don't think I should. And I didn't get it. But when I seen it, I was like, I'm getting it. I am getting it. That is beautiful. You cannot go wrong with that color. Beautiful. If you see it, pick it up because it is gorgeous. Can you imagine that color? Like, ooh, date night. All right. Next find was the Michaela and Glam Light. This I purchased for $5.99. Now that's how much this one gloss cost. So when I seen all three for $5.99, I said, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. 
So we have these three shades right here. You have a pretty clear silver, a gold, and then a nude. Look how pretty that is. And you guys can see the specks of gold. There were still quite a few last time. So I was like, okay, maybe I'll pick up another one if I really do like it. $5.99 for three. Hell yeah. Okay, and the last three things I got were from Ulta. Now, I seen so many people swatching this one and it looks so beautiful on them. This is the Fenty Icon Velvet in the MVP. So freaking beautiful. Like look at the packaging alone, it's just gorgeous. And when I swatched it, I was like, oh my goodness. Beautiful. Let's put some on. Um, thank you, Richard, after you done with that. Yeah. Damn. I see why everyone was hyped about this. My lips have never looked that such a pretty red. Come on, la flor. They honestly feel like such a velvet feeling on the lips. This is the red that I'm always trying to achieve. Uh, that's why I'm always pattering down my lips just to get that like pretty like, and this was just one swipe. I'm not even wearing a lip liner and look how pretty this looks. Cue the music. This is honestly a shade that when you see someone else wearing it, you're like, ooh, I hope it looks like that on me. It does. Mm. Now I gotta go into my eyes nude tomorrow, big lashes and just a red lip and I'm gonna feel like that bitch. I am just going to go buy a backup just because this is so freaking pretty. So the next two things is the KVD foundation. I finally went in and got it. I picked up the shade Tan 057. It does oxidize, that is the only reason. And I'm so glad that I like sat there a minute, let it marinate on my hand because it did oxidize. So this color doesn't look like it's my color, but it is because it oxidizes. So I will be doing a separate video using it and testing it out for you guys. Cause a lot of people are saying like, oh my God, you're gonna love it because it is a really good oil control foundation. So I cannot wait to actually try it out, see if I love it and give you guys my thoughts and opinions on that. So I can't wait to try it out because I did like the good apple. And last but not least, this is the Tarte Soft Bronze. I picked this one up just because I wanted to see what all the hype is about. Everyone was going excited. Let's do it together. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to like this one. Kind of looks like it has like a bronze to it. I wonder why. Hmm. Not sure, but I am going to love to try it out. And Hopefully I can give you guys some of my thoughts. This was the only shade that was left though. So that's why I didn't like get to swatch because they didn't even have like any swatches out like the display or anything like that. It was pretty much like if you want it, okay, take it. But if you don't, oh well. <laughs> so I will let you guys know how I like that. Oh, oh, let me show you guys real quick. I almost forgot. This is a Tree Hut Tropic Glow Moisturizing Shave Oil. I've never tried this. Again, TikTok convinced me because every one of their mama was going crazy for this. Let me know if you guys have tried it, what you guys think, your thoughts and opinions. I just use shave cream, but a lot of people are like, oh, you're missing out, use this. So let me know, let me know. But I will be testing it out and letting you guys know. It says achieve the closest shape possible with a tree hut shape oil. And that right there, I was like, mm-hmm, because I sneeze and my hair legs just whoosh, grow back with the quickness. So I can't wait to try this out and let you guys know. I'll let you guys know. But that is the end of my makeup and purse haul. Let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions down below. I love you guys so freaking much. Besos a todos. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.